All right, y'all. Yair is fighting Volk. Um, this weekend actually, I think it's on like Saturday or something like that. And man, I cannot wait for that fight. Man, there's a lot of opinions going around, but in my opinion, I think Volk gets it by decision or he possibly by a finish. Because I, I say this to people all the time. I say this on stream also. If Volk trains for you, he's going to outdo you in that category. Thinking about the times he all think about all the times where he fought most Max Holloway. He outstriked Max Holloway and Max Holloway was a striker, right? And think of the time when he fought Islam Makachev, right? He out wrestled Islam. Yeah, um, Islam outstriked Volk, but Volk didn't know Islam was really going to strike like that. So all I'm saying is that if Volk trains Yair, he's, he's, he's training for Yair's kicks. He's not going to get hit by those high kicks. A lot of people have been saying that. Oh, Volk, he's going to throw one high kick. He's, he's going to go down, but Volk is too smart for that. Volk understands. Oh, he's, he's kind of... Yeah, that spinning elbow is going to hurt. Boom. Front kick. Just kind of stay calm, stay calm. But yeah, that's all I'm saying. But tell me who y'all think in the comments is going to win against Volk versus Yair. I read all the comments. I respond to all the comments. So don't think your comment is going to get unnoticed by me. I read all the comments. So Is it me or is this like stage kind of loud? Yeah. Oh, he's waiting for that. Oh, he's waiting for that now. Okay, I wonder if I wonder if a high kick is gonna land on him. I'm surprised he actually picked Brian Ortega. Cause Brian Ortega, man, he's not that good. And the thing with Yair, he has baby, he has pillow fist, man. So it's definitely not gonna be easy to get some strikes off with him. But just to deteriorate Brian Ortega's power even more, we're going to work his legs and his body. Get his stamina down before anything else. Okay. Is it going to put us in the ground and pound? Okay, it doesn't. Come on, man. Another front kick. Yeah, that's not going to hit me no more. I might start sidestepping that, honestly. Give me that leg. Give me that leg again. Oh man, you should have, should have, should have, should have stayed patient. He's so eager to fight back. Okay, he wants to sit there and do head movement, but Brody, I'm not in the pocket. I'm not in the pocket. I'm, I'm all, I'm in my range. I'm in kicking range. That's what you. That's what you. That's what you gotta understand, bro. And that's and that's probably how that's probably that's that's how I'm getting you right now, bro. You're not you're not adapting to the range that I'm in. There we go. You're not adapting to that range. Okay, I tried to throw a he shot a takedown. Let me guess. Let me guess. Oh, okay. Man, I I was striking so much, I forgot. I didn't even notice the time, but yeah, we're piecing him. We're definitely piecing him on the feet. And if he wants to go to the ground, we have to get back up to our feet quickly. I tried to throw a... Oh, no. Please, 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 please. Okay. Give me that leg. I think he shot a takedown, so... Okay, now he's figuring out my combinations, but that's fine. It's a little bit too late for that. Way too late for that. Man, Yair has crazy stamina. His kicks are so fast and powerful. Oh my goodness, man. His kicks are so fast and powerful. But let's get into the next one, man. Alright, so this guy went with, 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 went with random. So let's see who he gets, man. We're going to react to it together. Oh, we got Calvin Cantor. Alright, so we definitely can't trade. We can't, we can't really do none of that. Um, he's gonna really deteriorate our head health. So let's try to tr let's try to work those leg kicks. Try to work those body kicks, you know. And if we're gonna use our punches, let's use our jab to set most of the things up. 
Because if he knows how to use Calvin Cantor, man, uh, it's not gonna get not gonna be easy for us. Switch of stance is instantly, so that body kick is gonna be wide open. So we're definitely gonna use it. Okay. Okay, mixing us up early. That's nice. That's fine. Okay, so he instantly blocked low. Like I said, man. You see how we're using the jab? You see how we're not sitting in the pocket? As soon as we throw a punch, we're right. We're right in back into our range. Right back into our range. We don't want to sit in the pocket. And look, he's getting frustrated already. No, I'm, I'm not there. That's the thing with Yair, man. You, you're just not going to be there. Look at that. Look how much damage he's doing already just from us even being in the barely in the pocket. You see what I mean? And he's probably giving up. Let's get a flashy KO then. Come on, please don't leave. Let's get into the next one, man. Yeah. The thing with Iliad Sephoria is that obviously, like I've been like I've been saying, you know, this whole this whole gameplay. Well showcase rather. We we can't sit in the pocket. We're gonna have to do what we have do what we was doing literally against the Calvin Cantor. Jad them get right back into our range. We don't want to be in their range. Are you ready? Are you ready? Unless their range is kicking range. Jab right back out. Okay, I like how he's moving forward off the bat. That shows me he wants to instill his game plan early. And I like how he's not he's not forcing anything. He's kind of letting things happen, which is a good sign of experience. Look at that. He's he's not, he's not forcing it. He could have went back in, but he's not going to force it. He's not going to force it. Okay. Should have stayed more patient. Okay, now I know he likes to throw those leg kicks. Probably start with a punch. Yeah. Even when if, even if you did throw that, I probably would have I probably would have used head movement. Yeah, that's not that faint is not gonna catch me. Honestly. That faint's not gonna catch me. That's the thing. That's the thing. You fainting a high kick like that is just no. Yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling that he wants to land that later on. He's probably going to set it up with those body kicks, you know, and those leg kicks you see right there. He's definitely going to want to try to set that up later on. So he's just showing it to me. Not to really scare me. Just to let me know that if you slip it, I'm going to I'm going to land that. No cap. If you slip it, if you if you not if you not on your P's and Q's, I'm going to land that. Simple. No. You gotta do more than that. You gotta do more than that. You gotta do more than faint and just throw this throw, throw leg kicks. Cause I'm gonna check all these, boy. That's the thing. I'm gonna check them all. Nope. One to the body, two to the head. Keeping it safe, keeping it clean. Nope, give me that leg. Another one, two. Back up. We're not gonna sit, we're not gonna sit in the pocket. We're not gonna sit in the pocket. He wanted to go to the body again, I think. If his character did that animation on, I, I think you know, I don't know if that was a regular animation, but I think he wanted to go to the body again. Man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta read, y'all gotta really read the opponents. Oh no, he wants to grapple. Look at that. He's he's giving up. 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 Yeah, he got frustrated. Bro, that's the thing. That's the thing in this game, y'all. Y'all can't just give up like that, bro. You're gonna go against people that has that you feel what I'm saying that has a better game plan, or you're gonna go against hard matchups. And right there, that was just a more difficult matchup. I don't even know, but okay. So I know that this guy actually has really good jujitsu and really good leg kicks. But him sitting in the pocket like that is just not going to work for long because we have that spinning elbow in our pocket. And that 6 to 12. How do you throw a 6 to 12 again? I actually forgot. I think it's like. No. How do you throw a 6 to 12? Oh my gosh, we actually caught him. I didn't even mean to do that. 1 2. Man, we have such 
good footwork. It's actually insane. You have like Bruce Lee type level footwork, honestly. Okay, shoots a takedown. You really shouldn't be. Oh, no, no, just no. <laughs> just no. Just no, man. I'm going to get in one more right here, man. Y'all hear. Some people been saying he's not top tier, but I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know what y'all talking about. Looking this game is stupid, so. I would probably I would probably say work his body and his legs, honestly. I would probably say work his body and his legs. He doesn't really have the best chin, so if we do get a chance to deteriorate that head health and throw our front kicks out there, we definitely should. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely can get hit by a lot of my front kicks. He's starting off very, very aggressive. Okay. Ooh, okay. He definitely get hit by a high kick. Because now he's moving his head. Yeah, he's going side to side now. Probably because he got hit by that front kick. So while he's backing up, we're definitely going to fire that off. And when he's in the pocket, we're definitely going to look to do this. No. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, he's kind of running into our... It's, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to work his body and his legs when he's running into our punches. No. Oh. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so when he gets into the... When he gets... when he, Before he does anything, he does head movement. So that means we can actually catch him lower in the lower body before he comes into the pocket. So that lower body is always going to be open before he does anything. Because he wants to do head You see that? He wants to do head movement. Okay, can my front come out? Can my kick come out? You have a flying knee also. There we go. The back, the back, Volk. Yeah, we're definitely gonna fire off the body kicks also because we're in the stance where body kicks do more damage. Okay, let's switch to that side. Okay, switch back to Orthodox, so that means we switch back to Southpaw so those body kicks can hurt. And if y'all don't know how to do the most damage with body kicks, is right there. The tip, kind of like this, like the ankle. Kind of like the ankle of the foot has to hit the like the player so it can do the most damage. If y'all didn't know that, because sometimes when it hits like when you're in your pocket and it hits like right like right there, it's hard to explain because I knocked them down. Like that don't that's not gonna do the most damage. Like right there, that's the most damage I can get. So, I mean, we got another knockout. Hope you enjoyed this video, man. I'm just gonna end it here. Um, and we had a little trash talking today too, so that was hilarious. Um, love y'all. See you on the next one.